Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a uh, quick review as well as a riding review on this 2019 Kawasaki Vulcan S. Let's get to that video. Welcome back. This is a 2019 Kawasaki Vulcan S ABS edition with the matte green. This is my wife's bike. Um, we bought this second hand. This is a, uh, we're, we're the third owner of this bike. Uh, when we purchased it originally, uh, it came from a dealership about two, two and a half hours from here. Uh, the original owners, uh, I think that they had bought it for his wife and she put like, they put 300 miles on it and sold it and the other gentleman had it uh, and uh, he had it for about a year or two and I think he wanted to to move up to something bigger it's pretty good condition um, you know he actually added this uh, uh, Pug um, windshield onto it as well as this backrest here he added he added this backrest and stuff too my understanding from these bikes is they have this agronomics on them where you can set them up for different ride heights. I believe that in stock form the bike is set up to uh, ride comfortably for a rider between five foot seven and six foot one. You can opt for getting an extended reach option or the reduced reach option if you're a, a, a shorter rider than five foot seven. My wife is under five foot seven so I'm gonna make some adjustments to this bike here coming up in the future putting some mods on it to make some changes to it uh, and that involves the handlebars uh, fixing this shift uh, rod down here on a lot of people what they'll do is this is actually the factory shift rod right here is they'll just loosen this up and move this over you know that's a trick that you can do there but I can tell you right now um, I'm gonna get a new shift rod for that because uh, the shifting on it just doesn't seem like it's very smooth uh, having it in that type of configuration. It's, I don't know, to me it just doesn't seem like it shifts very well for for that. So I am getting a sh shorter shift rod for that. It's got adjustable shocks here on the back, right here. Most bikes do. You know, honestly, uh, for riding it, the few times that I have, it it's actually rides really great. Uh, it's very light. It comes in around 500 pounds, uh, 498 pounds, I believe. Uh, so it's about 50 or 60 pounds lighter than my Scout 60. Um, it's got ABS. It was just, you know, when we found this, it, you know, it had it with it, and we weren't actually looking in particular, but it's got a little pl place right here. I think this is a lock for getting to your battery access. And it's a wrench under there. It's got a toolkit under the seat. Uh, I want to say that the gas tank's around four gallons. It probably gets in the 50s to 60 miles a gallon. Overall, aesthetically, it's a it's a nice looking bike. It's a good condition. It's been well taken care of. I can say right now, this will probably be the only review that I'll do of this bike, at least for me to ride it, because once I make the changes to to the bike for my wife to ride it and for her height stature and everything is i probably won't be riding this thing that much i mean because right now the way the uh the foot pegs are configured for me it's it's almost like a mid-range it's not very comfortable <laughs> like for the foot pegs at least for me for right now um and i know once i change it for her it's going to be less comfortable for me one other thing about the uh the agronomics of it like i was mentioning was uh you know you have this down here where you can make adjustments in these uh screws right here i don't know if it's showing you or not but you can move it to where you're um have different uh positions for your pegs so if you want to move it up to mid-range which is what it comes stock or to reduce reach or extended handlebars uh they measure about the stock ones measure about 33 and a half inches across like this and then the reduced reach bars are about 31 inches and then there's a measurement on the reduced reach seat that you can get to. Um, I ordered her a set of handlebars and I've got that um, shifter rod down there to reduce that, to fix that problem. 
I haven't got a reduced reach seat. We're going to hold off on the seat. I'm trying to debate on whether I want to, we want to get a Corbin seat or a Mustang seat. Uh, I don't know if I want to get the reduced seat, reduced reach seat or not. Um, let me know in the comments. Uh, you know, if you do have a Vulcan S or you know anybody does, you know, if how the reduced reach seat is as far as comfortability. I'm, I'll say in that, enough talking. Let's go for a ride and see what we think. <laughs> So like I said, is um, the, the shifting on this I don't really like, and I don't want to account it for being the bike. I just think it's just the way the bike is set up. You know, if, if it was, if the pegs were in the uh, standard position like they're supposed to be, it was using the right uh, shift rod, then uh, it, it probably wouldn't be that bad, but it just, it just has a very sloppy way of shifting. So I don't want to account that for it being the bike's issue. I just think it was the way it was set up. My understanding is, is that when you buy these bikes new, uh, you get into that uh, Kawasaki's ergonomics program where, you know, they'll, they'll, you know, ask you what your height is as far as being a rider. They'll set the bike up for you, basically, is uh, what I'm trying to say is, you know, for your height, you know, get the right handlebar configuration, the right foot pegs, the right seat and do all that uh, so that, you know, the bike is uniformly going to fit you better. I will say that it does have a decent amount of power. Uh, it's got the 650 cc, it's probably like 649 cc uh, parallel twin. Uh, it's the same engine as the uh, the Ninja 650 has in it. Uh, it's very, it's kind of got a decent uh, amount of linear power there. So uh, I don't really think the power really comes onto this bike until you get up and around the uh, 5,000 or so RPM range. I'm going to say in one of my previous videos, I had talked about, uh, you know, why I decided to get my Scout. And, you know, I, had look, I was looking at the time at actually getting one of these, um, uh, one of these Vulcan S's. And, uh, you know, I, I don't regret that. I mean, I really like my Scout 60 a lot. Um, I, you know, it's a very fun bike. Um, but it's kind of fun to have uh, this as well, you know, to, to play around with and all, but like I said, is uh, once this is set up uh, ergonomically for my wife to ride, I probably won't ride this that much because it probably won't be that comfortable. Um, maybe quick trips around locally, it wouldn't be too bad, but um, anything too far, I, I'm, I'm not for sure. But one of the thing about the nice thing about uh, bikes like this used is you can you can pick them up fairly inexpensive. Um, you know, uh, we got a I thought we got a pretty good deal on the one here that we got, um, and uh, you know, for being a new bike um, for her, I wanted to get something fairly cheap, um, and you know, something that I think will have some pretty okay resale value later if we decide to you know she decides to once she wants to move up to something else okay everybody this is what was my quick uh review of this uh 2019 kawasaki vulcan s uh, if you like this video leave me a like uh leave me a comment and all the neat kawasaki fans are out there thank y'all for watching i appreciate it uh if you got any tips or anything out there let me know i appreciate it uh, like I said, this bike more, li more or less will be my wife's bike. Um, so whatever input, you know, you give for any women riders or anything out there, uh, let me know and I'll pass on the information to her. Uh, I thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.